hold up. Who that banging on my door? If a nigga try to ride me, I'ma blow him in the stock. Hold up. Hey guys, it's Captain Forest here. And today's power scaling video, I'll be power scaling Prodigy from Marvel 616. Now if you guys are new to my channel, or of course, are previous watchers on my channel, please consider subscribing, leaving a like, and commenting down below. It helps out the channel, and as well as me. Also, if you guys are interested in becoming a member, a permanent member, where you get access to all my scans, you get updates and and full knowledge on projects that I'll be working on, then please hit me up on Discord. I'll leave my name and my tag down in the description. We can talk about some prices and see how things go. But anyway, let's get right into the video. So today, I'm going to be talking about Prodigy. I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a backstory so you guys can get a bit of an understanding of who Prodigy is. So Prodigy, aka his real name, David Eleni, was raised by his father and mother with his younger sister, Kim, in their home in the Hyde Park neighborhood of Chicago, Illinois. Growing up, David was always bright and intelligent, but when his mutant powers activated, the answers just started coming to him. He quickly realized he was a mutant with the ability to telepathically absorb the knowledge and skills of anyone nearby. Concerned that this knowledge was not authentic, David kept his mutation a secret and began studying even harder. He began taking college level courses while finishing high school and started working with Karma at the, at the university library until he was outed by the hate group Purity. After his cover was blown, Danielle Moonstar recruited him. And from then on, David, also known now as his codename Prodigy, would become the new leader of the newly found New Mutants. So that's pretty much it for Prodigy and his backstory. He pretty much is the leader of the New Mutants. He then moves on and joins another group and does his little side events throughout the Marvel stories. But anyway, now that you guys have a bit of an understanding of Prodigy, I'm going to go ahead and get right into the meat and potatoes of things. So for attack potency, for the low ends, he should have multi-city block plus, two town level AP. Prodigy can outskill and hurt Wolverine. The same Wolverine who can damage Captain America and Deadpool. Deadpool himself has a multi-city block level feat and Captain America uh, taking an area of effect attack which was also calced at town level. So right there you have some multi-city block to town level feats and scaling. Now if you want to take it a step higher you could argue some Herald tier scaling. Prodigy was able to beat the brakes off Helion and this same Helion who was able to tussle and do well and take attacks from Nimrod. Nimrod is a very powerful sentinel whose attacks and laser weapons are more concentrated than Ultron's himself. So right there and there you have some Herald tier scaling. This same prodigy was able to take a telepathic attack from an enraged Helion and the same prodigy was able to dismantle and beat the brakes off this Helion and outskill him. So right there and there, you could take this to Multiversal Plus, you could possibly take it higher, but right there and there, easily, some Herald tier scaling. But it's up to personal preference and it is up to the user's interpretation. So moving on to speed, easily, Prodigy, from the low ends, he should have some FTL Plus feats. He can tag Wolverine, he's defeated Wolverine in combat. The same Wolverine can react to Cyclops' optic blast, which moves at the speed of light. Also, shoutouts to Benjamin, Benjamin Hellfire Productions for making this calculation. Now, you could take it a step higher. Again, you could argue MFTL. The same Wolverine can tag Gladiator, Gladiator can travel through the universe 
um, within moments. So there was an MFTL um, calculation for Get Gladiator, and the same Wolverine can tag Gladiator. There's inaccessible speed arguments from Wolverine moving inside the World Dome, where time itself is frozen. And of course, there is immeasurable speed arguments, considering the fact that Wolverine was able to tango and tag and slice through Herald tier characters and blitz them. For example, he blitzed Thor, he's been able to tag Hulk, and he's been able to tag Gladiator. All these three Herald tier characters can all react to each other, which is pretty impressive. So right there and there, you've got some pretty interesting speed scaling. FTL, MFTL, inaccessible or immeasurable. So again, it's down to your interpretation and where you want to take the feet. So now that I've got those out of the way, let's move on to Prodigy's abilities. So Prodigy's mutant power, which is called Psychometry, which in short allows Prodigy to absorb, mimic, and obtain all the information and skills and knowledge from his opponents and replicate them without any need to train or practice so long as he is close to them. His mutant power has a range of 10 meters. There is, there is a few examples and, demonstrated, and demonstrations of his abilities and powers shown in action. For example, Prodigy was able to absorb the knowledge from the teacher's mind about a book that no other students knew about. Prodigy was able to make his dad's eggs the way he likes it, when Prodigy has never been taught how to make his father's eggs the way he likes it. Prodigy was able to absorb all the information and knowledge on how to speak French from Karma just by being near her. Prodigy absorbed beasts and Nurse Annie's medical knowledge. Prodigy also did not require a tour of the X-Mansion, as his mutant powers allowed him to absorb other people's knowledge of the mansion's areas. Prodigy knows everything Beast knows in terms of science. Prodigy states he's a black belt in psychic warfare and knew the places where Emma Frost and Cyclops like to be kissed, and how the other X-Men like to wipe themselves. Prodigy knows Doctor Strange's spells, though he is unable to perform these spells due to the lack of his natural gift in sorcery. Prodigy, Prodigy also gives tactical inf instructions and information to a ninja on how to survive against Elektra. Now, that's just some examples of how he's used his psychometry. I'm going to go ahead and talk about more of his grounded abilities in terms of skill. So Prodigy was able to absorb all of Elixir's skills and knowledge on basketball, which essentially made him a very good player in terms of, ba in terms of basketball, which is very impressive. Prodigy absorbed Cyclops' skills and knowledge and memories, which helped him find where the key was hidden. Prodigy absorbed a Black Belt skill and defeated him in combat with his own skill. Prodigy also defeats Wolverine in combat twice in skill by using Wolverine's own skill against him and also combining all the martial arts he absorbed from everyone in the mansion all in one. And this same Wolverine is a master at all Prodigy also studied with Wolverine via his powers. Prodigy outskills Surge and puts her in an arm lock. Prodigy will target weak, weak points in his opponent's body. He demonstrates Israeli and special force training that Wolverine and Shadowcat know, targeting three vulnerable spots on Helion. Prodigy tagged Helion's neck, jaw, and broke his rib. Prodigy also has precognition. Prodigy's psychometry is passive and it allows him to see what his opponents do before the actions occur, such as precogging Helion and Wolverine and Wolverine himself has instinctive reaction and precognition. Prodigy has also precogged all of Surge's attacks. Prodigy should also scale to Wolverine's precognition. 
Wolverine wins a fighting tournament beating a speed demon, Toad, and Puma while drugged and used Precog against the speedster in order to tag him who was trying to blitz Wolverine. Also an instinctive reaction feat for Wolverine comes from a statement from Mr. X which he states that Wolverine can move faster than he thinks. Prodigy was also able to predict an attack from a mutant by his telepathy ability even though he didn't have the speed to react and also anticipated Santo before he even thought of it with his telepathy. You can't hide or sneak attack Prodigy. His passive info absorbing powers work on people who are even who even hide in the shadows as he was able to absorb Chinese from Jubilee's mind when she and Dust were hiding which alerted him of their presence. Prodigy was also able to detect where Surge was hiding by passively absorbing her knowledge on Japanese language. Now let's talk a little bit about Prodigy in his unrestricted state. Now if Prodigy had his mental blocks removed by Emma Frost, he would be able to absorb and retain all the information he gains from people. Within under 24 hours, he mastered all of the X-Men's fighting styles and skills and integrated it into his own fighting style. He even bested Wolverine in combat, who was wearing a helmet that blocks out telepathic powers. Now this all occurs in the new X-Men 2004 run where it was a what if scenario which is actually true it's just that basically Emma Frost just showed Prodigy what would happen if there was to essentially Prodigy would become the smartest man in the world as he demonstrated his endless hunger for knowledge as he absorbed all the curriculum and all the required reading to complete the semester within a month. Prodigy went to meet all the other smart heroes in Marvel such as Iron Man, Doctor Strange, Reed Richards and so on. Prodigy has also been able to help Elixir master his healing powers. This version of Prodigy would go on to cure cancer and become the president of the United States at the cost of his friend Elixir's life. Prodigy would abandon emotional connections and ties and only be in the pursuit of knowledge as he would sacrifice the life of others for knowledge and power as Prodigy would come up with multiple contingency plans against everyone. Prodigy even states that he would even be able to get rid of all diseases and poverty. Now that's pretty much it for this version of Prodigy. Let's talk about his tactical, tactical smarts and skills. Prodigy is a great leader, smart, strategic and tactical. In New Mutant, in New X-Men 2004, the New Mutants were given tasks inside the danger room and with Prodigy's mutant powers working at full capacity, Prodigy displays solid strategic and tactical planning by giving his team orders. Prodigy also demonstrates he's a great detective and scientist. Prodigy was given a special award from his experience and his excellence and his performance as well as his team. Prodigy also demonstrates strategic and tactical cues to help his team to deal and complete the challenges that were set against them in the danger room. Danny Moonstar even states that Prodigy is the best strategic thinker at the school hands down, so arguably he'd be above Cyclops in terms of leadership and strategic and tactical thought and planning. And lastly, moving on to gear, Beast creates uniforms for the, for the mutants and Prodigy, which these X unif uniforms are bulletproof. Prodigy also carries glasses with him 
that give him info, as those glasses contain information on his foes which allow him to come up with a plan to defeat Blob from a distance. And that pretty much it rounds up for Prodigy. Now if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, comment down below, leave your thoughts down in the comment section. I hope you guys really enjoyed this X-Men video. I like scaling X-Men characters, they're fun to uh, go over, they're very underrated too. But yeah, if you guys are interested in becoming a permanent member, please hit me up on Discord and we can discuss further details. But yes, Captain Forest, 